Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, uh, my Lee's stuff, all about uh, things that my clients and viewers have asked me about to try to get some help on, and sorry it's been so long since my last video, but I'm in a little crazy busy, so uh, my apologies for that. But today I want to talk about uh, creating a system restore point in Windows 7, and this works the same in Windows 7-32-bit uh, or 64-bit, but the question really becomes how do you create a system restore point uh, by yourself manually. I know that, uh, and, and we know that anytime you install any major piece of software, the system does it for you automatically. But how do you do it yourself? And, you know, if you go into a control panel, and actually I should mention a little bit about what a system restore point is. A system restore point actually has to do with specifically all of the, the settings of your computer, all the program settings, all, everything that's recorded about how your computer is set, uh, those settings are saved. And if you, for example, install some piece of software that crashes your computer, then you can go back to the system restore uh, point just before that, and all of the previous settings will be put in place, and that software uh, that you installed will no longer be installed. It may still be on your system, but it will not be installed and so you can kind of get your system back to working order. So uh, that being said, when you come into the control panel, you see there's all these different settings and you think, well, you know, one of them's got to be system restore point. Oh, there's recovery. And that says restore your system to an earlier time. Well, let's try that. But all this says is, oh, okay, well, open system restore. And this says, well, do you want to restore to the last one that you just did? Or do you want to choose a different restore point. So here you can look at all the different restore points that you've done, and I just did one uh, that's called Just Testing. And I can, even, I can even delete these if I want to, but unfortunately you have to delete all of them. Uh, but this isn't what I want. I want to create a new one. So how do I actually create a new one manually? And so here's what you do. Go to the Start button, right-click on the, the, I'm sorry, right-click on Computer, click on Properties, and this tells you all about your system information, all the properties in your, your computer. But you'll notice one here that's called System Protection on the left-hand side is a, ta or is a, a menu item. So click on that, and here we go. Boom. Create a System Restore Point. Now, uh, it it's, should be noted that I have two drives here, and you can set these drives to individual uh, settings for system restore. Like for example, this is my external, so I've got system protection turned off on that one. But in this one, I've got it set to be turned on, and I've only I'm only using about one percent of the, the space on my drive. Uh, your drive, you might want a little more space, but I only need 10 gigabytes. I don't need anything bigger than that. Um, you know, it's I think by default it goes to like 10 percent, and you can see if I go to 10 percent here. It's like 100 gigs of space. Well, why do I want to devote 100 gigs to that? That doesn't make any sense, so I'm going to cancel that. At any rate, to create a system restore point, just click on Create, and I'm going to do another one that's called Just Testing. How about I spell it right? And I'll click on Create. Now, <clears throat> what it's doing here is it's saving all of those settings, all of the information about all the different programs I have, my system settings themselves, my desktop settings, my video settings, everything all my drivers, all the information is being saved into a file, and you can see, boom, it, it just takes a couple minutes, or not even, and uh, then there it goes and says that it's it's been created. Now, you want to make sure that it's been created. Let's go into System Restore like we were before, and choose a different restore point, and you'll see there's another just testing that, that I've created here. Okay, so that's that's the system restore point. And you can see those those are manual, and all these different uh, uh, system restore points have been created for different reasons. So at any rate, that's how you do it, and uh, that way I I highly 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 recommend that if you're going to install any software, create a system restore point first. I don't care what it is. If you're going to make changes to some software, even that you're not sure about just either back up or create a system restore point at the very least. And if you look at one of my other videos, there is a video here on how to do a system image to your drive. So you, even if you completely foul up your machine and you can't even get back to where you were, then boom, you can use that uh, system restore, I'm sorry, the system image file to get back to where you were just before uh, that crashed. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, of course, please place them here on the channel. And as always, I appreciate your time. And please do uh, leave me suggestions on what you'd like to see for future videos. Okay, take care. Enjoy. Bye-bye.